Hey legends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put any artwork on your surfboard. It's so easy, seriously, any one of you can do it. Now the artwork I'm going to be doing today, as you've seen from the thumbnail, is Idolo Ferreira's face. I thought it would be hilarious, plus he's an absolute legend. Then I'll be surfing it afterwards to show it off. I think it's going to be so sick. I've teamed up with Surf Paints. They're actually the sponsor of today's video. It comes in this sick box with a nice handle. He asked me to do that. <laughs> so here's the box and we'll take a look at some of the things that are included So you got this nice wax scraper then you got a nice pencil with a rubber. That's absolutely perfect And it's also got this top part Has this like scour so this will take off all the excess dirt Then it's got this sponge thing masking tape sandpaper block It also comes with this inspiration booklet fluoro surf paint pens the primary surf paint pens and the pastel surf paint pens And then it comes with this massive block of steel wool again This is gonna help you get wax and excess dirt and stuff off your surfboard and a sticker So the only thing not included in this pack is a clear coat you're gonna need this to put over your design after you finish it so it actually stays on your board. Unfortunately, they can't ship it because it's an aerosol can. They're explosive. You can pick one of these up at your local hardware store like Bunnings or something for like 10 bucks. So when it comes to choosing a design, I'm pretty basic so I always go for really simple things. I'll pop up some artworks that I've done in the past. I saw this photo of Italo doing an air with his face on his board under it. I thought it was so funny. So that's gonna be the design I'm running with today. Good thing they do include this little inspiration booklet. So it's just gonna have all these different designs that can inspire you. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove all the dirt and wax from your surfboard to make sure it's clean. But on the Surf Paints website, they have an ebook with a step-by-step -step process of how to put an artwork on your board. And that's the guide I'm gonna be running off today. The equipment I'm gonna be using is some steel wool just to remove the dirt and stuff. Then this scour if I need it. Now we'll be sanding the area I'm gonna be painting just to make sure the paint seeps through into the board properly. And then I got this little scraper here, but my board's pretty clean, so I probably won't need it. Before you get to work on your board, just figure out whereabouts you're gonna be putting your artwork. So for me, I want it above the Vibe logo, almost up to the nose. I want his face to be pretty big, so I'm probably gonna be using up this section here. So you can just sketch that off on the edges. And then get to work. surface is all clean and now I'm literally just going to be tracing it off my computer. Okay, so I finally finished tracing the sketch. Now we're gonna fill it in with black. It's not perfect, but I think it looks like Italo, so hopefully the final product looks really good. Let's start coloring it in. And the only one I'm gonna be using is the black, and maybe if I make a few errors, I might go over in white. Uh, but super simple, let's go. I have the girlfriend going in, filling it out. I'm so psyched to see what this looks like. I'm just hoping it looks like Italo, otherwise <laughs> it's gonna be so funny, but I think it will. Yo. <laughs> it looks a bit weird, but we are so close to finishing it. Wow, almost done. All right, so we're finished filling it in. I think it looks like it alone. It's not perfect, but <laughs> I 
I still think it looks so sick. All we have to do now is put three coats of clear coat on it. And it takes, I think, about 15 minutes to dry between each one. And then it's just gonna make sure that it doesn't rub or scratch off and it'll actually stay on your board. And it also provides a bit of a glossy finish. So it should look even better. Yeah. And just as a final touch, I added Italo's stokehead to the deck of the board and I followed the exact same steps as before. And yes, you can wax over it. Here it is with some wax on it. And I also went over the eyes to make them a bit bigger because he was a bit squinty before. Let's go surf it. Anyone who just wants to purchase them, I do have a promo code NOS10 where you'll be able to get 10% off. I do get a small commission on any purchases made with that, which helps support the channel. The next video I'm going to make with Surf Paints is going to be how to do your rails. I feel like this is one every single person wants to do, and it's so easy. You can literally do it in like 30 minutes. If you did make it to the end, leave a comment saying stoked or stoked. Thanks to Italo. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.